Joseph Sosimo, Michael Orlando. We're at Salem High School, where the PBD High School Tanners take on the Salem Witches. Uh, both teams are coming in here with some losses, but they mainly were the better teams in the state. Uh, Salem, I know, lost East Boston. Uh, PBD lost to uh, Charlestown. So, uh, just a little real quickly as you're speaking, the starting lineups. Uh, first for the Tanners, number 21, John Studley. Number 22, Eddie Leonard. Number 10, Kyle Mountner. And number 33, Mike Everson. And now for the Salem Witches. Number, number 10, Patrick O'Donnell. Number 13, Dan Velez. Number one, Patrick Shea. Number 45, Eric Grosnick. And number five, Dan Frazier. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem? And now, our national anthem. interruption with this with the uh, Star Spangled Banner but uh, we're just about ready to play here uh, PBD in the uh, in the dark blue Salem in white and red and like all Salem PBD ball games uh, this should be a good one also we should and uh, this will, will be a home and home series I believe later in the year Salem comes to PBD Actually, as I uh, look at the schedule here, uh, it will actually be the last game of the season on uh, Wednesday, February 23rd, 2005. So we're just about ready to tip it off. For Mike Everson from Salem comes up with the tip. From the outside, right away for a three. So number Dan five, Dale Frazier. Frazier gets it off with a quick 3-0 three, three run. Studley. And he let in. And there'll be a jump ball. Nice play by number five, Frazier, to tie it up. So on the possession call, PBD gets the ball. Andrew Federa bring the ball in out of bounds. Studley. All white shirts on the air for the rebound. Dan Frazier to Shea. Shea goes off the back of the rim. 
Nice pass by Frazier on the baseline. The shake had a wide open three and uh, just didn't fall for him. We don't have their height here, but it looks like uh, Shea, number one and number ten, are the highest, tallest men on the team. Grozek. Grozek, uh, a senior. He's been on this Salem team for about three years now and doing a great job for the Salem Witches. Salem pulls away to a five to nothing lead. Studley. Salem with another rebound. And number 13, Dan Velez. A little Salem up to a quick seven nothing lead here. We've only played a minute and a half. Studley. Lennon for three. And be Salem's ball. Nice play by number 33 for the Tanners. Everson to try to grab the rebound. He was up pretty high, Lou, and uh, just didn't come down with it. Okay, Salem with 14 minutes left in the first half pulls away to a quick 7 0 lead, and they have the ball. Grozek. Shea outside. Drive to the basket. And he gets it. Nice play by Shea. Kind of a scoop shot. And uh, it rolled around the rim and in. So CBD calls a quick timeout as Salem pulls away to a 9 0 lead. 13 43 remaining in this one. And uh, 9 0 low. Yep. Uh, PBD's taking three shots. And. Uh, that's about it. Salem defense has been getting all the rebounds. Salem's come out. They played. They started off strong, and uh, you know that's what you got to do here because you never, you can never tell. Uh, momentum changes in this game so quickly. Shot of the uh, PBD bench. So Salem comes out on the first uh, on the first turn here. Chris Bastrangelo giving the Tanners some heads up play. A little good sized crowd here. It's uh, still early, but uh, people are still kind of filing in. Yeah, the side we're on is just about full. The other side is about half full. There's Grozek. Stops and pops. Doesn't go. Eddie Leonard with the uh, rebound. Nice steal by Grozek. Just couldn't finish it. In the middle to Federa. Peabody gets the rebound. Federa. Studley for three. And it goes in. Nice tap in by number 33 for the Tanners. I believe that's uh, Mike Everson. So the Tanners finally uh, get on the scoreboard with the Everson's uh, rebound. Shea. Intercepted by Lennon. Studley underneath nicely. And Federa with the. Nice pass by Studley to Federa for his uh, first two of the game. Grozak stops. He pops. In and out. Number 10 for Salem O'Donnell got knocked to the ground. Kyle Mulder with the. Uh, Rebound. Lennon. Oh, it doesn't go. And Grozek comes up with the rebound. Nice play by Fedora. The ball uh, went around the rim and out. Shea from outside. And he gets three. Shea. 12 to 4, Salem leads. That's five points for Shea in the early going here. <laughs> for 
Madeira. Lennon, Lennon. Walter to Stanley driving. Nice save by Kyle that time. Lennon, and it goes. Right at the 32nd buzzer, Lou. Nice shot by number 22, Leonard. Shea. Doesn't go, no foul. Nice defense by the Tanners. Patrick Shea drove to the basket. Suddenly, 12 to 6, Salem leads. Federa, Studley. Nice shot by Studley for his first two of the game. 12 to 8, PBD creeping back in. Uh, Salem ran off to a quick 9 0 lead, and the Tanners have come back with uh, eight points. Grozek. For three. That's his second three of the game, Lou. Fifteen eight. Studley. Shea with the rebound. Nice drive to the basket. Nice play by Frazier. He did that all by himself uh, from the top of the uh, from the top of the circle. So Salem starts to pull away again. Seventeen to eight. PBD ball. Knocked out of bounds by number 13, Velez. Kyle Melton will bring the ball in. Stutley for three. Lennon. Grozak passes it off nicely. Nice passing by Salem, and um, number 10, O'Donnell, gets it in for her, his first two. So Salem moving the ball real well into every player. And they have a quick 11-point lead here. Federa. Salem back in the zone. Leonard. No rebound for Peabody as Grozek comes up with the rebound. Ball was just tipped out of bounds by number 22, Leonard. So it'll be Salem's ball, 20 seconds on the shot clock. A little less than nine minutes remaining in the first half. 19-8, Salem lead. Three. PBD gets the rebound. Mike Everson with the rebound. Federa. A pick for Studley, but he can't use it. A hold on number five for Salem. Dan Frazier. Lou, that's his first. That's only the first foul of the game. And uh, we've played uh, just about eight minutes. 19-8. PBD <laughs> ball. Nice defense by number five, Frazier, just knocking the ball out of bounds. Brian Percone is in there for the Tanners, now number 24. 6-5. Salem gets the rebound. Here's Frazier. And there'll be a foul Looks by like Studley. And probably a good foul. We'll see what happens. He was going in for the layup. Looking sharp, boys. So that's, St that's Studley's uh, first foul and the first foul for the PBD Tanners. 
So it looks like we have a timeout here. Uh, Salem 19 and Peabody 8. Just real, real quickly, uh, kind of recapping the score in the in the early going here uh, for Salem. Frazier has eight points, including two threes. Shea with five, O'Donnell with two, and Velez with two. For uh, Peabody, a little bit spread out right now. Fedora with two, Studley with two, Leonard with two, and Everson with two. Shot once again to the PVD bench. You know what's amazing? This is a big rivalry, but uh, Salem PVD football games, I don't see a crowd like this. <laughs> maybe it's a great indoor sport to watch, yeah. I don't know, though, maybe, you know, certain sports, uh, you know, you can pretty much say the same thing, too. You get into. Uh, Peabody Everett football, and it's a big, big rivalry. And then you get to the basketball, and uh, not a, not that big of a draw. So uh, I guess it depends on what the students feel like doing for the day. Here's Dan Frazier. So I guess the foul was good. He missed the first one. And he gets the second. 20 to 8. Peabody can't let the game get away from him. 12 points down. Leonard and he puts it away. Nice play by Leonard. 20 to 10. <laughs> Frazier on the outside. In and out. Looks like the PBD foul is going to be on uh, number 34, McMath. Jeff McMath, he's in the ball game now. That's his first. As you notice, this uh, nice block that time by Pacone. The PBD's ball. This team is loaded with seniors, Salem, and uh, Peabody is uh, underclassmen, really. Lou, as we look at the uh, Salem roster, they do, you're right, they have nine seniors on this team. And Peabody with only uh, four. Patrick Shea blocks that shot. Grozek from outside. The three. A three. 23 to 10. Salem leads. Salem starting to open up that lead a little bit here. and there's uh, Everson with the ball. And he gets offensive oh, foul, wow. You're gonna call number 33 Everson for an offensive foul. He made a great play going to the basket and uh, that, that basket won't go. Grozak once again for three. And it goes. 26-10, the Salem lead is now 16, and Grozak's two quick uh, threes in a row. Ah! 
Bibidi Baldi. Ball was knocked out of bounds by uh, number 24, Abru, for Salem. They try to feed the ball into uh, Bryant Pacone. Number five, Lewis in the game for the Peabody. Peabody's just getting that one shot, and that's it. Patrick Shea. Be a foul from behind. Foul's going to be on Peabody at number 24, Pacone. That'll be his first. No, I'm sorry, Lou, it's on the brew for Salem, number 24. Here comes Rozak again, feeds it outside to Shea, Shea. Espinel to Lewis. PBD shooting is way off. Lou, they're getting one shot, one opportunity, and Salem's coming down with the ball every time. Like beyond 34, Jeff McMath. Number 24 for Salem pulled down the rebound of Brew and uh, went up to put it back up and got fouled. The foul's on McMath, that's his second. Now Brew makes the first one. Cone comes out of the ball game. And he gets them both. 28 to 10. Salem slowly pulling away, low 18 points here. Peabody outside, they can't get inside at all. From the outside, and ball, ball taken away from Shea. Now Shea comes down with the second rebound. Rozek passes it off. And there'd be a block on Peabody. Nice rebounding by Shea at the other end there. Foul's going to be on number five. Uh, that's going to be Lewis. That's going to be his first. Gets the first one. He's three from three from the foul line. And he gets the... 20 point lead for Salem. He's perfect from the foul line, four for four. A little under three minutes remaining in the first half here. Peabody gets the rebound, Leonard shot wouldn't fall. be a foul and I believe that's going to be a number five. It is on number five. Dan Frazier. That's his second low. And right now he's the leading scorer for Salem with uh, nine points. In and out. They get a block here. 
Foul's going to be on number five again for Peabody. Willis. That's his second. Stelly comes back in the game. Lewis gets a breather. And it calls. Nice play by a brew. Suddenly, the Lennon. There's Frazier. And he lays it in. Nice play by Frazier. He actually, uh, out of 10. he actually tipped the ball away low and then uh, rolled to his Salem teammate who got it right back to him. He lays it in. So um, Salem has run out to a 24 point lead here. PBD cheerleaders coming out. Good shot of them. We do now, Mike. <laughs> 34 to 10. They dug a hole for themselves. Pretty hard to come back from here. Well, you know something, Lou, but we've seen it many a time. Uh, you know, and uh, teams run out to a quick lead, and then they kind of sit back and uh, and you know wait for the other team to fold, and little by little the other team comes back and chips it away, and then at some point ends up making it a game or actually ends up stealing a game. So uh, Tanners need just to continue to work hard. Uh, what they need to do here is get, start to get second and third opportunities. They're getting one shot, and that's about it. And uh, for the most part, Salem's coming up with the rebound. So if you're only going to get one, you've got to make it count. It's going to be a quality shot. And they're not great shots. A lot of them, they're forcing that shot. Salem's doing a great job in uh, Salem. I mean, Pavey a lot of times is running up against that uh, that 30-second clock. The turnover by uh, Peabody on the travel. So we have uh, just about two minutes remaining in the first half here in this in the Salem lead is 24. Grozik. Oh, Grozik. Nice play by uh, number 45, Grozek. Louis uh, got the rebound, actually put it behind his back, and then just tried to get out to his teammate on the right side and uh, got thrown out of bounds. There it is again, Lou. One, one shot and out. From outside. That was a major league uh, three by uh, Grosick there. He was probably five or six feet behind the uh, three-point line. I want to say number 22, John Topic. Topic, the foul on number 22 for Salem. 34 to 10 with 130 left. That was uh, Tobinick's first. Can't get it to go. Was nice blended. rebound by a bro. Stutley with the rebound. In and out. They can't buy a basket. And again, a little one shot and done. 
Looks like uh, the PBD foul is going to be on number 33, Everson. That'll be his second. Foul number 33, Mike Everson. Pat Shea for two. Pat Shea was going in for an easy uh, layup, actually. See if that was a good foul. First one is in and out, so, so it's it, a good it, foul. It's a good foul. And the second one is good. So the Tanner Lee, uh, I'm sorry, the Salem Lee is now 25. Final 20 seconds of the first half. Studley. Shea with the rebound. Ten seconds, Lou. Looks like Salem will play for the final shot here. PBD ball. Nice play by number 22, Leonard, to, uh, to prevent the uh, layup. So it'll be Tanner Ball with 3.3 .3 remaining. You mentioned nine, uh, <laughs> Lennon doesn't go the end of the half, 35 to 10. You, you, you mentioned the, the nine seniors in Salem and PBD has four, and uh, PBD is loaded with juniors, so next year they'll have a, a senior-later team. But at the end of the first half, Salem 35, PBD 10, lose the sophomore Michael Lando, Paul Gartland on camera. We'll be right back with first half stats and second half action. Possible, Michael Lando, we're back here ready for second half action with Salem, 35 to 10. <laughs> and Salem will get the ball in out of bounds. Luth. Shea from outside, doesn't go. Lou with the next break, uh, we'll get the uh, halftime stats there. Well, they're not good ones, so I guess we can wait on them. Well, Salem's got some impressive stuff going on. Shea, once again, outside. And it'll be Peabody's ball out of bounds. Nice defense by Peabody, uh, forcing Salem to uh, make some bad moves there, and uh, he was just up about all the 30 second clock. You have to give Salem a, uh, a lot of credit for their defense. Peabody having a hard time getting a decent shot off. Again, a little first half, unless Peabody's going to make some adjustments in the second half. They got one shot, and that was it. Studley fakes a three. And it Number 13, Federa with two. First two points of the second half. Brozek and it doesn't go and Lennon Studley Well number 22 uh, Lennon came crashing in and uh, ball he, just he got knocked tip. the ball out of bounds almost tried to tip it up into the basket Nice play though And there'll be a kick on PBD It'll be Salem ball again. Number five, Frazier will put it in bounds for them. All the way down to Shea. Shea's all by himself, though. Drives to the basket. And he up and in. A beautiful shot. Nice scoop shot by Shea coming baseline. 37 to 12. And they finally get a three. Meltner. Shea fakes it in nice pass. Number 13, Velez with two. 
39-15. 24 point Salem lead. Dudley. Shea with the rebound. Be a foul. Fouls on number 13, Fadera. Uh, Fadera. That's his first. Lou, I don't have any stats here on the rebounds, but uh, number one for Salem, Shea, uh, not only has a ton of points, but uh, he's got a ton of rebounds. Grozek. Wow, everybody leaves to cover Grozak and all alone underneath for Velez. Is Velez. Lennon for three. DVD ball out of nice bounds. Nice defense by uh, O'Donnell for Salem to take, knock the ball out of bounds. Mike Everson tried to go up with that ball. Suddenly for outside. Looks like we're going to get a foul underneath. Be against uh, Studley. Pushing off after that shot. So that's his second foul. Floor. Looks like number 13, Lou. It is. Fadera once again. His second foul. And he'll get a breather as number 34, Jeff McMath, comes into the game. Whoop, uh, excuse me. Uh, Fadera stays in and Moulton gets the breather. Shea brings a way out. He'll be going to the foul line. You can almost tell when he wants to drive to the basket. He brings it all the way out and fouls on number gets 30. Fouls on number 33, Lou Everson. According to my book, that's number three. Now Federa comes out and Brian Pacone comes in. Salem lead right now, Lou, 12.35 remaining is 27 points. Make it 28. 28. <laughs> Shea gets them both. McMath, and he goes. Nice play by McMath for two. Here comes Grozek right back. Stops and pops. And Pacone with the rebound. One of the rare shots that Salem missed. Suddenly underneath. Oh, nice play by Shea to knock the ball out of bounds. Number 30, Davison checking in for uh, the Tanners. This time there'll be a foul. Let's see if they give it to Shea. It is on Shea. It is on Shea. Lou, considering all the rebounding he's been doing, both offensively and defensively, that's only his first foul of the game, and uh, we have about 11 minutes remaining. It's 
43-19. So Davidson makes two free throws. Be a jump ball. PBD's ball in the possession call. Once again, I'd like to thank Paul Gotland actually doing a double header for us tonight. Three seconds. Oh, 24 on a push. That's going to be on the foul. That's his second. Here comes Studley. On the floor. I guess Studley will get the foul. Well, he's on number uh, 21, Studley. That'll be his third. Nice ball moving by uh, Salem, though, to uh, create the foul. Shea will bring it back uh, out of bounds, way back to Grozek. Shea from outside for three, and it goes. Wow, all net for sure. It didn't even hit the net. <laughs> That's possible. That's his second three of the of the of the night. So the Tanner lead is back to 27. I'm sorry, the Salem lead is 27. Far beyond uh, number five, Frazier. That'll be three on Frazier. Lennon be a block once again on Frazier. Little coin to my sheet, that's four on Frazier. Chris Hansen will be coming in the game. He's been quiet in the second half, Lou. Uh, Frazier had 11 points in the first half uh, for Salem and has yet to get on the scoreboard here. Chase stops her from going out of bounds. Chafe outside for three, and again, all net. Second consecutive three for Shea. They let him alone out there. They figure he's the big man and he won't shoot, but. <laughs> he has 10 points in the second half, 16 for the game. And Lennon. 29-21. Peabody just can't get back in the ball game though, because nine minutes and 30 seconds left. Drozik doesn't go. Studley, Lennon stops, pops. Shea with the rebound. Hanson the Grozek all alone underneath trying to draw the foul, but he doesn't do either. That's a kick by Salem, actually. Well, they didn't call it. They called it on Peabody. Deflection by Peabody. So Salem gets a new 24 second clock. Shea the Grozek. Math with the rebound of Studley. Eddie Lennon. Foul beyond number 10. Patrick O'Donnell on a hold. 
That's his first foul of the game. Little one thing that's changed in the second half of the Tanners, they're getting multiple shots now. In the first half, they were, all they were getting was one shot, and uh, that's it. In the second half, they're pulling down two or three rebounds. Went into Sudley. McMath. And he gets it. Nice shot by McMath. His uh, four points in the second half for him. 49-23. Shea, once again. Lou, that's three, three, three threes for Shea, all from the same spot. He has 13 points in the second half, and he has 19 for the game. In the middle, McMath, Leonard for three, and it goes. 52-26, 26-point lead for Salem. Shea's on the other side now. They lose it out of bounds to the ball. Number 22 for Salem, Tabanek checking in. He replaces uh, number 45, Grosick. 7-19 left in the game. for another three. Leonard's caught fire here in the last few minutes. Eight points. Shea. But that's uh, that just came into the ball game. Chris Hansen, number 33, with that three-pointer. That's his first, three, first points of the game, Lou. Six fifty left in the game. Fifty-five twenty-nine. Salem leads. Leonard driving to the basket. And he gets rejected. Hansen to back to Shea. Shea's way outside. And there'll be a hole. Looks like it's gonna be on number 33, Everson. That'll be four on Everson. Brew comes in. Shea gets the first one. Big man, he's a good shooter. He's uh, really lighting it up in the second half. He's got 14 points. He sailed his ball. Shot by Espinel, number 20, goes up over the backboard. Steve Lambert, a senior forward, comes in. Number three for Salem. here for, on Salem. Patrick Shea comes out of the ball game with six minutes left. He's got 20 points so far this evening. 
So we're just under six minutes, and the uh, Salem lead is uh, 27 points. Lambert comes down with the rebound. So neither team has its starting players in, except for Lennon. And Salem will get the ball on the possession call. A little good opportunity for Salem to get some uh, get some of the uh, bench players into the game with a big lead like this here. Number 33 for Salem. Hanson. Hanson. Will be a travel on Lennon. Salem loses it out of bounds, be Peabody's ball. Nice try by Martinez to keep it in play, but it just uh, slipped off his fingers. Ingersoll checking in for the Tanners, replacing Leonard. Number 23, Ingersoll. Ingersoll gets the basket. McMath. McMath. Timeout Salem. 4.33 remaining in the game. Salem 58, the PBD Tanners 33. Maybe some of that scoring instead of uh, the final tabulation, we can get most of the uh, points in there now. Just real quickly, uh, as a quick break, uh, Shea with 20 points. Frazier had 11 in the first half. He's been shut out in the second half. O'Donnell with two. Velez has six. Uh, Brew had six in the first half. He's been shut out. Uh, Hansen with five points. And uh, Grosick with eight for a total of 58. For Peabody. Maltner with two, Fedora has four, Studley has two, Leonard has 12, Ingersoll with two, Davidson with two, and McMath with uh, six for a total of 33. Side. Tabernak with two. He peeped his ball. Great job by number 22, Tabernak. Uh, put the ball up a couple times, got his own rebounds, and uh, finally lost it out of bounds. And you know what's amazing? I don't think Salem is the strongest team in the Northeast Conference. Be a foul from behind on number 25. Martinez, that'll be his first. Lou, unfortunately, we only get to play Salem twice a year as a non-league game, so you don't get a chance to see them too much uh, during the regular season. Chuck Davidson into the game for our PBD. McMath's 
stops, pops. Tabanak comes down with the rebound and brings it across half court. Great play by number 25, Martinez. His first two points of the evening. 62 to 33. 29 point Tanner uh, Salem lead. Martinez almost gets fouled. Number 33 for Salem. Hanson, he's got about eight points now. Fouls on number 33. Hanson. That's his first. 233 left in the game. Salem foul is going to be on number 22, Tabanek. That's his second. De La Rosa comes in, number 15, and Adam Burke, 14. Martinez. Unbelievable, unbelievable shot by number 25, Martinez. So we're down to the two minute mark, and the Salem lead is 33 points. Here's Martinez once again, taken away this time and knocked out of bounds. It should be PBD's ball. Nice play that time by uh, number five, Lewis. Backcourt violation. Martinez once again on that <laughs> missed shot. That's six consecutive points for, for Martinez, all in the second half. And McMath will be going the line once again. Fouls on uh, number 23 for Salem. That's Norman. It's his first. Gets the first one. He makes them both. 68-36. One minute left. Seconds on the shot clock, Salem just killing the clock, really. Number three, what a shot. Lambert, Stephen Lambert. He 
he's sailing his ball. That, that's just about what has happened all night for the Tanners. That's it. That's exactly it. And uh, Salem has opened up a real comfortable lead here. 37 seconds remaining in this one. 25 seconds in the shot clock, so... DVD ball. Ingersoll brings the ball in to Lewis. This should just about do it, Lou. Uh, final 10 seconds. Seventy to thirty-six. That's the end of the ball game. Salem seventy, Peabody thirty-six. We go. Okay, Mike. a little first for the Peabody Tanners. Uh, for Lewis, one. Mountner, three. Fedora with four. Studley with two. Ingersoll with two. Davidson, two. Everson, two. McMath, eight. And the leading scorer this evening, number 22, Leonard, with 12 points for a total of 36. For Salem, Frazier had 11. O'Donnell with four. Velez with six. Tabernick with two. Abreu with six. Martinez with six, uh, Hanson with seven, Grosnick with eight, and the leading scorer this evening for uh, Salem, number one, Shea with 20 for a total of 70. Yeah, what a ball game. And, uh, it seems like uh, he got three threes, he was underneath, he could dribble the ball in. Uh, he played a great all-around game for the Salem Witches. Shea had a great game, and uh, the, the key to the game tonight was Salem got off to a quick lead, and uh, PBD had to play catch-up the entire evening. And as we mentioned several times in the first half, Peabody was getting one shot, and that was it. So, uh, tough evening for the Tanners, but I'm sure they'll be back with the next one. Okay, this is Lucas Oswald, Michael Lando, Paul Gotland on camera. Good night, and thank you for watching. Thank you.